The endo activator system uses strong and highly flexible polymer tips to safely activate various intracanal reagents and vigorously produce the hydrodynamic phenomenon. This new technology provides an advantage over traditional methods and offers a safer, better, and faster way to achieve success in the following clinical applications. Three-dimensional debridement and disruption of the smear layer and biofilm. Placement of calcium hydroxide and MTA around root curvatures. Removal of residual obturation materials during retreatment procedures. Let's take a closer look at this new, innovative, and easy-to-use technology. The endoactivator system is comprised of a cordless, contra-angled, and ergonomic handpiece that drives the endoactivator tips. This handpiece is operated by pressing the light touch on-off switch which activates the strong and flexible polymer tips. The three-speed sonic motor switch provides options of 10,000, 6,000, and 2,000 cycles per minute. When the driver is activated, the power defaults to 10,000 cycles per minute, which is the recommended speed to maximize debridement and disruption of the smear layer and biofilm. Ultimately, the other speeds are selected based on different applications and the power needed to effectively accomplish the clinical task. To access the battery compartment, simply turn the non-removable screw cap counterclockwise to remove the housing. Remove the battery and replace with a premium quality AA alkaline or lithium battery. Depending on use, periodically install a new, fully charged battery to ensure optimal performance. The endoactivator tips have an easy snap-on, snap-off design and are color-coded yellow, red, and blue, corresponding to small, medium, and large sizes respectively. Importantly, the tips are made from a medical-grade polymer, are strong and flexible, and are 22 millimeters long. The bowl-shaped clean guard serves to consolidate the protective barrier, and orientational depth gauge rings are positioned at 18, 19, and 20 millimeters. At times, it may be helpful to pre-curve an endoactivator tip to facilitate placement. In these instances, the orthodontic bird beak pliers can be used to place a smooth curve. Now that you are familiar with the endoactivator system, let's look at the clinical guidelines for infection control. Place the barrier sleeve over the driver to protect the entire handpiece. Importantly, attach the activator over the barrier protected driver. The activator should snap on firmly, promoting a secure connection with the handpiece. In fully prepared canals, select the tip that fits loosely and to within two millimeters of working length. Move the vibrating tip up and down in short two to three millimeter vertical strokes to optimize a powerful hydrodynamic phenomenon. In general, use 10,000 cycles per minute to encourage debridement and promote the disruption of the smear layer and biofilm. During cleaning procedures, agitate the intracanal solution for 30 to 60 seconds, then irrigate and use intracanal suction to remove loose debris. This process should be repeated for each intracanal irrigant used. When the clinical procedure has been completed, firmly support the contra-angled neck of the handpiece and remove the attached activator tip by grasping the large circular clean guard portion with fingers and snap off. Next, remove the protective barrier sleeve. Discard the activator tip and barrier sleeve as they are for single patient use only. To better appreciate the hydrodynamic phenomenon below the orifice, let's look at a simulated root canal system. A vibrating tip generates intracanal waves. Random waves create a negative pressure that causes a liquid to fracture. Bubbles are generated that expand and become unstable, then collapse in what is termed an implosion. Implosions radiate shock waves that promote deep lateral cleaning. Studies have shown that fluid hydrodynamics produces cleaner root canal systems. Logically, better cleaning improves the potential for three-dimensional obturation and long-term success.